Thomas Merton's memoir, The Seven-Story Mountain, is an autobiographical account of the author's life from his childhood to his decision to join a Trappist monastery. Published in 1948, the book quickly became a bestseller and established Merton as a leading spiritual writer of the 20th century. In this literary analysis, we will examine the themes of self-discovery, spirituality, and community that are central to the book. One of the primary themes of The Seven-Story Mountain is self-discovery. The book chronicles Merton's search for meaning and purpose in life, which ultimately leads him to the Catholic Church and the monastic life. Merton begins his journey as a young man in search of pleasure and intellectual stimulation. However, he soon realizes that these pursuits are empty and unfulfilling. He writes, I had discovered that there was nothing in the world that could really satisfy me, I was going to have to find something else to live for. Merton's search leads him to the Catholic Church, which he initially approaches with skepticism and doubt. However, through his encounters with Catholic writers and thinkers such as Jacques Maritain and G.K. Chesterton, Merton comes to see the Church as a source of spiritual truth and guidance. He writes, The Church became my true mother, who was to guide me to the Father. And I found that in her was all truth, all grace, all light, all life. The theme of spirituality is closely intertwined with Merton's search for self-discovery. Throughout the book, Merton explores his own spirituality and the role of spirituality in human life. He is deeply influenced by the writings of the mystics, particularly St. John of the Cross and St. Teresa of Avila, and seeks to emulate their devotion and contemplative life. Merton writes, It was the life of the saints that really attracted me, I wanted to be like them, to live like them and to do what they did. Merton's spiritual journey is not without its challenges, however. He struggles with doubt and temptation, and at times feels that he is failing in his quest for spiritual growth. Nevertheless, he perseveres, and ultimately finds peace and fulfillment in his relationship with God. He writes, I had come to the monastery to seek God. And now I found him everywhere, in the sky and the mountains, in the fields and the forests, in the wind and the rain. Finally, The Seven-Story Mountain is a book about community. Merton's decision to join the Trappist Monastery at Gethsemane is driven in part by his desire for a life of communal prayer and work. He writes, I was seeking to be with people who were striving to live in the presence of God, who had given up everything to follow Christ. However, Merton's experience of community is not always idyllic. He struggles with the personalities and quirks of his fellow monks, and at times feels that he is not cut out for the monastic life. Nevertheless, he comes to see the importance of community in his spiritual journey, and recognizes that the support and guidance of his fellow monks are essential to his growth and development. In conclusion, The Seven-Story Mountain is a powerful and thought-provoking memoir that explores the themes of self-discovery, spirituality, and community. Merton's journey from a restless young man to a devoted monk is a testament to the power of faith and the importance of seeking truth and meaning in life. The book's enduring popularity is a testament to its universal appeal and the enduring relevance of its message.